Hello and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we begin, let me say our customary blessings. Blessed art and prayers. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten our words. Sweeten the words of your Torah in, in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence enlighten you and may he be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Wishing Yeshua. Amen. Today's reading is in the beginning, Torah Genesis 1, chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 6, verse 8. Our prophets is Isaiah 25, 5 through 43, 10. Our Brich Hadesha is Luke 3, 23 through 38. John 1, 1 through 18, Romans 5, 12 through 21, 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 15, Hebrews 11, 1 through 7. Genesis 1, 1 through 6, 8. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was, was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters and God made the expanse and separated the waters <coughs> that were under the expanse for the waters that were above the expanse and it was so and God called the expanse heaven and there was an evening and there was morning and in the second day and God said let the waters under the heavens be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so God also called the dry land earth and the waters were gathered together, and he called the seas, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruits bearing, fruit trees bearing fruit, in which there is seed, each according to its kind on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants leading seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed, according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let, let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars, and God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light of the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth and across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the water swarms according to its, their kind. And every winged bird according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the sea, and let the birds multiply in the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living and creature, creatures according to, its, to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kind, and the livestock according to all their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, 
And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heaven, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over all creepy, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heaven, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant, yielding seed that is on the face of the earth, and every tree with seeds in its fruit. And you shall have them for food. To every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heaven, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all of the hosts among them. And on the seventh day God finished his work, so that he was done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. And God blessed the seventh day, and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in his creation. These are generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. When no bush was bush of the field was yet in the land, and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord had not caused it to rain on the land. And there was no month to work the ground. Oh, man to work the ground. Sorry, they got it mistyped. And a mist was going up from the land, and it was watering the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord formed the man of dust from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And a man became a living creature. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord made to spring up every tree that was pleasant to the sight and good food. The tree of life was in the midst of the garden, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and there it divided and became four rivers. And the name of the first is the Pishon. It was the one that flowed around the whole land of Hivala, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Delium and onyx and stone are there. The name of the second river is Gihon. It was the one that flowed around the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Tigris, which flows east of Syria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For the day that you eat, eat of it, you shall surely die. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Now out of the ground the Lord God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heaven and brought them to the man to see what he, co he would call them. And whatever the man called the living creatures, that was its name. The man gave names to all the livestock and to all the birds of the heaven and the beasts of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib of the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, This at last is bone, bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of a man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother, and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked, and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the other beasts of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Do, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. 
But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, and he said to them, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten of the tree which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is it that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock, and above all the beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and the dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring, and she shall bruise your head, and she shall bruise his heel. And you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing, and pain you shall bring for children. You, your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground because of you, and pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field, by, but by the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man that has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, now lest he reach out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden to eat. And to the east of the garden, Eden, he placed a cherubim and a flaming sword that turned every way to guard the, the way to the tree of life. Now Adam knew his wife. And she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of the sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of fruit of the ground. And Abel also, Abel also brought of the firstborn of, the, of his flock and the, their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. But for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. And Cain was very, very angry, and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry, and why have your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its, des its desire is for you, but you must not. You must rule over it. <clears throat> Cain spoke to Abel, his brother. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother, and Abel killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I your brother's keeper? And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. And now you and now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer of the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground and from your face I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whomever finds me will kill me. The Lord said to him, Not so. If anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him should not who found him should attack him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife and conceived and bore Enoch, which he built a city. He called the name of the city the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Erad. 
and Arad father Mehajal, and Mahujal fathered Methushiel, and Methushiel fathered Lamech, and Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Adah, the name of the other Zillah, and bore Zabal. Adah bore Jabal. He was the father of the one who dwelt in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jabul. He was the father of the the ones who played the lyre and the pipe. Zila also bore Tabul Cain. He was the forger of all the instruments of bronze and iron, and the, the sister of Tabul Cain was Nama. Limech said to his wives, Adal and Zila, Hear my voice, the wives of Limech. Listen to what I say. I have killed a man for, for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Limech is seventyfold. Seventy sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore his son and called him Seth. For, God, for she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. So Seth, to Seth also was, a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. This is the book of generations of Adam. When God created man, he made him in the likeness of God, male and female. He created them, and he blessed them, and named them men and they were created and when Adam had lived 130 years he followed a son in his own likeness and af after his image and named him Seth the days of Adam and his father Seth were 800 years and he had other sons and daughters thus all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died when Seth had lived 105 years he followed Enosh Seth lived as he followed Enosh 807 years and had also bore sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he, bothered, he fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan 815 years, and he also had sons and daughters. Thus, the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. When Kenan had lived seventy years, he fathered Mahalalal. Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalalal eight hundred and forty years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Kenan were nine hundred and ten years, and he died. Mahalalal, who lived sixty-five years, he fathered Jared. Mahalalal lived after he fathered Jared eight hundred and thirty years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Mahalalal. Were 895 years, and he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enosh. Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enoch walked with God, and after he followed Methuselah three hundred years, and had gone, and had other sons and daughters, thus all the days of Enoch were three hundred and sixty-five years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, and he was not for God took him. When Methuselah had lived a hundred and eighty-seven years, he followed Limit. Methuselah lived after he followed Limech 782 years, and, and had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Limech had lived 182 years, he followed his son, and called his son Noah, saying, Out of the ground of the Lord is cursed, this one shall bring us relief from our work, from the painful toil of our hands. Limech lived after... After he fathered Noah from 595 years, and he had other sons and daughters, thus all the days of Limech were 777 years. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When man became to multiply on the face of the earth, on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were, attract were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said that my spirit shall not abide in man forever, 
for he is flesh, his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterwards. When the Son of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them, they were the mighty men, who were of old the men of renown. The Lord saw that, that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man of the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot man whom I created from the face of the land, man and the animals and the creeping things and the birds of the heaven, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the Lord's eyes. Isaiah 42, 5 through 43, 10. Thus says the Lord God who created the heavens and stretched them out and spread the, out over the earth and what comes from it. Who gives breath to the people on it and a spirit to those who walk in it? I am the Lord. I have created you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant to the people a light for the nations. To open the eyes that are blind. To bring out the prisoners from the dungeon for the prison. From the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to carved idols. Behold the former things that have come to pass, and new things that I now declare, for they sprang forth, I tell them to you. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants, let the desert and its city lift up their voice, the village Villages that Kedar inhabitants. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the tops of mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his pra praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes out like a mighty man. Like a man of war, he stirs up zeal. He cries out, she sh he shouts aloud, he shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I have had my peace. I have kept still and restrained myself. Now I will cry out like a woman in labor. I will gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all the vegetation. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools. And I will lead the blind in a way that they do not know. In paths that they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light. The rough places into level ground. These are the things that I do. And I do not forsake them. They are turned back and utterly put to shame. Who trust in carved idols. Who s say to metal images, you are our gods. Hear you deaf, and look you blind that you may see. Who is blind but my servant? Or deaf is my messenger whom I send. Who is blind as my dedicated one, or as blind as the servant of the Lord. He sees many things. But he does not observe them. His ears are opening, are opened, but he does not hear. The Lord was pleased for his righteousness sake. To magnify his law and make it glorious. But this is a people plundered and looted. They are all of them trapped in holes and, and hidden in prisons. They have become plundered with none to rescue. Spoil with none to save. Restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Will attend to listen for the time to come? Who gave up Jacob to the looter and Israel to the plunderers? Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned in those days that we will not, they would not walk, and those the law, whose laws they would not obey? So he poured out his anger on him, the heat of his anger and the might of his battle. It set him on fire all around, but he did not understand. It burned him up, but he did not take it to heart. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, he, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the river, they shall not overwhelm you. 
And you shall walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Siba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes, and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you up. Sorry, gather you. And I will say to the north, Give up. And to the south, Do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring out the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. All the nations gathered together and the peoples assembled. Who among them can declare this? And show us the former things. Let them bring their witnesses and prove them right. To prove them right. And let them hear and say it is true. You are my witness. Witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen. That you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. Luke three twenty three through 38 Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age. Being the son and is supposed of Joseph and son of Heli, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Marchai and of Jenai, the son of Joseph, the son of Matathes, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Isli, the son of Nagai, the son of Marth, the son of Matthias, the son of Simeon, the son of Joseph, the son of Jodah, the son of J Jonah, the son of Rush, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Saltiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adi, the son of Kosim, the son of Eldmadam, the son of Ir, the son of J Joshua, the son of Il Eliezer, the son of Joram, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Samian, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Elikim, the son of Melia, the son of Minah, the son of Matathi, Matatha, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salah, the son of Nashon, the son of Amenabad, Amenadab, the son of Admin, the son of Orni, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Noah, Nahor, the son of Sarug, the son of Ro, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Ephrax, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, and the son of God. John 1, 1 through 18. In the beginning was the world, the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was, it, he was in the beginning with God. All things are made through him, and without him was not anything made that was that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. The light that sh the light shines in darkness and darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to bear witness about the light, the true light, which gives light to everyone who was coming into the world. He's in the world, and the world was made up, was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, believed in his name. He gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And he, we have seen his glory, glory of the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he whom I said. 
He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace, the truth, and truth coming through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at Father's side. He has made him known. Romans 5, 12 to 21. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through, through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned. For sin indeed was in the world, before the law was given. But sin is not counted where there is no law. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgressions of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many die through one's trespass, much more have the grace of God and a free gift by the grace of the man Jesus Christ bounded by many, bounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses brought Justification, for if because of one man's trespass death reigned through that one man, for m much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. For as by the one man disobedience, man's disobedience, the many were made sinners. So by one man's obedience, the many were made righteous. Now the law came in to increase the trespass, but where, to, but where sin increased. Grace abounded all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 Timothy 2, 1-15 First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in the high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dig dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth, for there is one God. And there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is a testimony given at the prior time for this. I was appointed a preacher and apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling, Likewise, also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly attire, but with what is proper for a woman who professes godliness, with good works. Let women learn quietly, with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man, rather she is to remain quiet, for Adam was formed first in Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the man who was deceived and became a father's transgressor, yet she was to be saved through the childbearing. If they continue in faith and love and holiness with self-control. Hebrews 11, 1-7 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their condemnation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that it was not made out of things that are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was con commended as righteous. God c commended him by accepting his gifts, uh, and through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not he, and he was not found because God had taken him. 
Now therefore he was taken, he was commended as having pleased God. And without faith it, faith it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who speak, who, oh, who seek him. By faith Noah, being warned by God concerning events as yet unseen, in reverent fear constructed the ark for the saving of his household. By, by this he commended the world, world and became the, an heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. Here's our after, after Torah prayer. Blessing. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, our Lord, giver of the Torah. Shem Yeshua. Amen.